Welcome back to How It's Done. I'm here again with Christopher Zaffel, who created the Dine in Medina County Facebook page during the pandemic and also came up with a few other people to go ahead and do a passport program and a dining program to help support the restaurants and the breweries. Today, we're going to be talking about the ever popular <laughs> brewery passport program. So, how long has this program been going on? So this is our second year. We started back in uh, 2021 and uh, we kicked it off in June. And yeah, this is our second year going. Now this is when things opened up. Yeah, so how this came about, it's kind of interesting. So we talked about the dining passport program. Um, I literally was sitting in one of the breweries talking to one of the owners. We're just sitting there chatting and we were talking about that program. And they mentioned, oh, yeah, before the pandemic, we used to do a passport program in Cleveland. So I just looked at him. I said, why don't we do that in Medina? And he looked at me. He's like, that's a good idea. So we literally pulled out our phones and each of us started texting different brewers uh, and local brewers and said, hey, thinking about putting this together, you guys in. And everybody was, yeah, let's do it. That's how it all started. And then you actually make these. I do. You make these. Okay. And then... How do these go ahead and get made? They get printed? Do people have to pay for them? So I designed the book actually, working with the breweries. And um, once we're done, we submit them to the UPS store, which helps subsidize the cost of the books. Uh, they're pricey to print. So they print those up for us. And now they're, they're at each brewery, free to pick up, and they cost nothing to the customers. Oh, that's amazing. Now, when did this program start? So initially in. 2021 this year started in april okay so we kind of added an extra month um so last year we made a little mistake we had our party in september and it was on the day of the browns first game oh so i got a lot of feedback let me tell you that that was a bad idea (laughs) we understood and we moved that in so we pulled everything in and added a month on for people to go around okay now with this program how does this passport work so this is is, uh, pretty simple there's eight breweries involved and you pick up a book passport book at any of the participating breweries and then you visit each of them two times each time you go and buy anything could be an adult beverage it could be um, merchandise whatever you want you'll get a stamp no um, dollar amount involved get a stamp, come back again, you get your second stamp. Once you have all eight pages stamped twice, um, there's a registration page, you fill that out, turn it in, um, and then we send you a certification saying you're, as long as you're one of the first 500, we do have a cap, um, we send you certification to attend the party. Oh, that's amazing. Now, um, is there anything at the end? What's the party all about? So we are here at the beautiful Blue Heron patio, and our party is here. So it's um, it's kind of like a brew fest, and it's for everybody that finished this, the first 500 people. And uh, there's all the breweries are set up. We have samples. Um, we have um, live music. Oh, so okay. laid back and lazy will be off here to the our right, playing live music. We have um, this year we have 18 sponsors involved. Oh. And the sponsors can participate in the party. So some of them choose to do that, and they'll set up, and they'll have their booths, and you can go around and visit them, and there's a lot of samples and a lot of information. Now, who is all participating for the breweries so, for, this, for this one? Yeah, so the breweries, hope I can get them all. So uh, we're excited that this year, Acronym is going to be opening in Medina. Not quite open yet. We, we're hoping it'll be open in June. There's, you know, supply chain issues. So a little bit um, slow. So Acronym is participating this year and they're gonna be in the Medina County family. Um, and then there's um, Blue Heron, DJ Malthopper, Hoppy Brothers, or excuse me, Hoppy Dudes. There is a Hoppy Brothers, but they're not a part of this. Um, there's Mad Brewing, Medina Brewing, um, Lagerheads, and Wrecking Crew. Oh, amazing. Now, with this uh, brewery program, you mentioned that it's been kind of like a cult classic. <laughs> Can you explain it's that? A, it's an interesting following. It, 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 that's not a great word to use, but I don't know how else to describe it. It is almost like a cult following. People love it. 
and I'll get messages over the winter like when are we starting what's going on what are it's great I love it and you know so many programs it's hard to get people involved this one they're just dying to get books and start start going so they love it um, there's some great stories from last year I could share with you if you'd like yes um, I've heard many stories of people sitting at one of the breweries like we are mm-hmm. and there's somebody at a table next to them and they have their passbook book, books out so then they look over and they start a conversation next thing you know they're going off to the next brewery together to get a stamp um, some people actually got together last year and rented a limo to go around to the eight breweries so there's people i've literally heard people say i have made new friends on this passport and that's really good since the pandemic there's been a lot of isolation yeah um, a lot of stuff going there's still a lot of people that are either hybrid at home or just not going into the office at all so this is a great uh program for people to get together make new friends have you noticed that on the facebook page for it as well What's that? I'm sorry. Uh, right. For the brewery program, people having more conversation? Um, they probably don't have a lot of conversation on there every once in a while, but no, it's more in person. It's, oh. a, it's a lot of a lot of in person. I'll go to different breweries and I'll see people, you know, just getting together. And it's it's a lot of fun. That's so kind of that's what I mean. It's kind of got a culty feel, meaning they all like to get together and go around and do things like that. Now, when is the end for this with the party? So the this ends July 31st. And then the party is August 21st right here at Blue Heron. And the raid date is the following weekend, the 28th. And then once they hand that in, they get a confirmation. And then that, now, is there a check-in process when people get here? There, there is. Last year's was a little rough. We learned from that. It was our first year, so we learned a few things. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll come up with an expedited check-in process this year. Okay, wonderful. Now... How does uh, somebody go about getting these? They go to any of those breweries that um, are listed. They go ahead and they get the passport book. Now, if a brewery wants to participate, they can go ahead and contact you. Yes. There's only, what do we have, nine with acronym? will be nine. So they're almost all participating. Okay. Yeah. And then this does not include, for people that ask, wineries those are completely correct yeah yeah this is specific breweries yes okay there's actually been some talk about doing a wine tour kind of thing but it hasn't come together yet well you know so. the women <laughs> would love a wine tour or the husbands go and do the brewery tour <laughs> we'd be happy to help do it we just got to get those guys together and that would be out. that'd be yeah. really awesome so this is sticking to its auth- auth- authenticity um, unlike the other program for the dining, um, so this is sticking with the book because you said that that's what people love. Yeah, they do. They do. And then with this book, um, it'll change out. So if somebody doesn't get all the stamps on it, they can't use it for the next time around. Correct. Yeah, we'll have a new book in 2023. Okay, that is awesome. If you would like to go ahead and participate in the brewery program, make sure you go to one of the breweries that is listed. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Christopher Zaffel. You can go to the Dine In and Dine County Facebook page. He also has the Dine In Brewery page uh, for Facebook. I'll attach all of those links. And then if you are a business that would like to participate in any of these programs, please make sure to go ahead and contact him. And for all you out there, supporting a small local business can make a huge difference for a company. Not only that, it supports the employees and it still allows the small businesses to participate back into their communities. Until next time, thank you. WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.